Hi everyone, I'm Renee Oswald. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to, I'm going to teach you about this pineapple. Now when you go into the store, sometimes pineapples are half green and half yellow. Well, one trick to get this, see how this is nice and yellow throughout? It wasn't that way just a couple days ago because the, the sugars from the pineapple settle. And so when you turn it over like this, when, when it's just yellow on half the pineapple, the sugars incorporate through the whole pineapple and turn, yellow, turn it yellow. And one way you can do that is just to set it in the corner of your cabinet like this. Just make sure that it's not gonna fall over, knock anything over, and just leave it like that and it will ripen. So that's the first thing. And now when it's ripe and ready to cut, you can just twist off the top, just like this. Just twist one way and then the other, top comes off. If you're fortunate enough to live in Florida like we do, you can just stick this in the, in the soil, and in about one and a half years, you'll have a pineapple. So you can put it on the periphery of your, of your property. We had about 100 pineapples one year because we did this. We just put it outside every time we, had, we opened up a pineapple. Okay, and now when you're cutting the pineapple, if you don't want to use the whole thing, say you're making a recipe it calls for a cup of pineapple, then you would just cut it in slices like this. And now you don't want to use the rest. This is all you need for your recipe. So you have these nice little covers. They're silicone covers, and you can just put this on and then stick it in the refrigerator, and then you use it tomorrow. Use it in a few days, and it stays fresh that way. It doesn't dry out. And I love these lids. I, I use them for everything. I use them if I cut a jicama or on an apple. You just want to use half the apple or pumpkin. Pumpkin's good, or any kind of squash, like spaghetti squash. I'll cook the spaghetti squash and then put one of these lids on and then I can just take the, as much spaghetti squash as I want for that recipe the next day. Also, um, they're good for watermelons, any kind of melon. They make a really large one, a large size for that. So that's a nice one for the watermelon. So I just wanted to share that with you because I love those. And now to finish cutting the pineapple, you just cut the edge of the pineapple like this around the side, that's it. Say your recipe called for pineapple chunks. So this is what you would do, and then just cut it in the middle, and then remove that core. There's a core right there in the middle, just cut that out. That's the only part that you might not want in your recipes. You can use it in your smoothies if you'd like. It's full of bromelain, it's really good for you. Good for your digestion. And that's it. And there you have pineapple chunks. That's all you do. Isn't that a beautiful pineapple? I hope you enjoyed this video. And for more videos like this one, visit our website and our social media channels. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.